Last week, four progressives were elected to Congress, which means we no longer just have the squad, we have the squad cinematic universe. I spoke with Congressman-elect Jamal Bowman to see what he plans to bring to the House. This past week was exciting, sad, confusing, then exciting again, and also scary, but let's not go there. And fortunately for democracy, there are going to be some new members of Congress who will get their shot at making America great again, again. People like middle school principal, Wu-Tang enthusiast, and newly elected House member, Jamal Bowman. We're so excited that you're heading to D.C. Why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> what? Yeah, right. So uh, somewhat worried, but I'm also prepared. Are you worried that the people you're going to encounter in Congress are going to be more childish than the children you've actually mediated conflict with in your own life? Well, if you can run a middle school effectively in the Bronx, I think you're ready for anything. I'm just a regular dude. And for someone like me, uh, to be elected to Congress, someone who was a victim of police brutality, raised by a single mom, lived in public housing, went to public schools. It shows you that the majority of the American people across the country are ready for transformative change. Are you worried that this kind of blind optimism is going to make it hard for you to find the door to your own office? <laughs> Jamal is a justice Democrat, two patriotic words that when put together really freak the f out of Republicans. And it has the Democratic Party arguing more than a Christian parent and a hot topic teen. You say that you can't wait to get to D.C. and cause problems for those maintaining the status quo. I know you're a Wu-Tang fan. Are you planning to bring the ruckus? <laughs> Sir, is that what's happening here? I guess that's uh, that's what some will call it. We have a system of, of racism and, and sexism and anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. That's a corrupt, ugly, immoral system. And that system needs to change. So good trouble, ruckus, needs to be brought to Congress. No takesy backsies. <laughs> now you have to do it. Jamal Bowman won his primary challenge by figuring out that while the number of registered Democrats was high, the voter turnout was low, which I don't think is what Michelle Obama meant by when they go low, we go high. But it turned out to be a winning strategy. The rest of the party is going to have to move towards us. Progressives won their reelections by a landslide and the moderates were the ones who struggled. So you can't blame uh, the progressive for the struggles of moderates. The status quo Democrats, they're in the minority in terms of the issues that the majority of the people in this country truly care about. Oh, so that's how Bowman and the Justice Democrats win. They do this thing called represent their constituents. The moment that you get in there, what are your number one priorities? End poverty, challenge racism in all its forms, federal jobs guarantee, raising the federal minimum wage, holding police accountable, ending qualified immunity, ending mass incarceration, food security, mental health support, housing and healthcare, our human rights, fully funding our public schools, bringing the deal, getting us to net zero carbon emissions in the next 10 years. You've got a really big first day ahead of you, <laughs> is all I'm saying. But is he gonna get to sit at the cool kids table? I feel indebted to them because they were talking about issues that were finally connected to my lived reality. They're badass, man. I mean, that's the best way. Mm. That's just the best way to, to say it. And they represent our Constitution, in my opinion, more than anyone I've seen. <laughs> I have a special surprise video made by the squad that me and my producers had absolutely uh, nothing at all to do with. Here you go. I would like to welcome Jamal to our squad. And I just would like Jamal to bring Sam Bean to every single squad party. <laughs> what? You're in. We're both in. I think we're in. Ugh. But even with new progressives in the House, it'll be almost impossible to implement change as long as the GOP and old Foghorn Dickhorn control the Senate. Ground zero is Georgia in terms of flipping the Senate. We have two runoffs um, that are happening right now. So I'm asking you, Samantha, to reach out to everyone you know in Georgia. Oh, yes. uh, to make sure they are phone banking, leafletting, organizing, and mobilizing to make sure we win Georgia. Oh, Principal Bowman's giving us homework. But he's right. We need to get to work and bring his winning energy, a.k.a. ruckus, to Georgia. 
If you liked this video, hit subscribe and leave a pleasant comment below. Let's ride out the rest of this nightmare year together, okay? Okay?